glad that you've joined us for today's program. I have with me a very special guest, Joan Hunter, who has an awesome healing ministry and goes about doing good. In fact, everywhere you go, Joan, I hear the goodness of the Lord being released through healings, deliverance, through uh, freedom that, that people experience because of the power of, of God being ministered to them. So I want to thank you for being such an awesome servant of the Lord. And you have authored um, Power to Heal. In fact, this is its fourth um, print fourth of this. Print. Mm -hmm. And then Healing the Whole Man Handbook, which is a companion book to this. Amazing tools. And thank you so much for those books. And uh, you're also a channel host at xpmedia.com. Yes, and am. people are constantly, you know, just letting us know how much they appreciate all of your video teaching and testimonies are learning so much and getting so much ministry off your channel. So, wow, you're just one one awesome woman of God. And it's so <laughs> awesome because, you know, it's not like I'm getting just uh, emails regarding XP Media from Phoenix. I'm getting them from Singapore, from Africa, sure. from South Africa, from, from Ireland, from England, from all these places, and they're just watching them. I you, just love what God's doing through the two, internet. We reach over 230 countries worldwide. Isn't that awesome? It's, it's what a day we're living in. I know it. You know? And no jet lag. <laughs> I know. That's just so awesome. It is awesome. But anyways, Joan, um, today we want to talk about specific diseases because we believe of course that Jesus heals today right his word says so so we're right. not going to argue with the word if it says that Jesus heals it means he heals and right this didn't die out when the last apostle died Jesus healing power is for today as well and his body can be trained to minister that healing in yes. his name um, so you know most most Christians especially in our stream we believe that that you can minister healing but Sometimes we need to know specifically the root of something or or how to pray for a specific illness because it might be, you know, a different type of prayer than, than another way. And of course we want to follow the Holy Spirit in everything, but the Lord's given you clues and keys as to how to pray into specific types of diseases, even mm -hmm. things like um, disorders, like speech impediments and things like that. Mm -hmm. So why don't you share a little bit about that with us? Well, like we were uh, mentioned just a few minutes ago about like Oral Roberts and Benny Hinn and different people like that, that have c overcome their speech impediments and Catherine Kuhlman and so forth. And most of the time as a child, they were embarrassed. And so they knew that nobody, nobody wanted to hear them again. So they just couldn't, didn't talk. Right. <clears throat> and then they were never called on. Right. And so it worked out really good for both of them. You know, you didn't mm -hmm. hear the guy stuttering or, you know, and then they just didn't talk. So it, it took off the pressure off of them. And, but what happens, it was the first time it happened was very traumatic. Sure. And so at that point, they just shut down. Well, we deal with the spirit of trauma, and then that just, it frees the tongue. I, I prayed for this little girl a week ago, and I got an email from the mom a couple of days ago, and she was just saying, she says, my child hasn't spoken at all. Prayed for her. And, and I mean, now, we're not talking a, a one- or two-year-old. We're talking a six-, seven-, eight-year-old little girl. Right. She wow. stood like eye level to me when I was, because I was sitting down ministering to her. And, and she hadn't spoken, I said, and I prayed for her. And I said, can you say, thank you, Jesus? She went, thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. And her mom just oh. wept because oh, she hasn't heard her so even say anything. Special. And she says that she's just, you know, talk, not talking of a storm yet, but kind of right. testing the waters on the docking now. You know, Joan, I really feel the power of the Spirit in the studio right now, and I believe that people that are watching this program are going to get healed of speech impediments. I agree. When I was um, seven and eight years of age, I had a speech impediment. I stuttered so badly, and um, uh, it was interesting the way it started for me. It wasn't so much a trauma, but my brother stuttered, and I copied him. I right. mocked him. Mm -hmm. And I was copying him. And, and through that, the spirit got on me. You but reaped then, it. Yeah. What I, you sowed, you reaped. Exactly. I mean, it totally lines up with the scripture. And then um, I just determined, though, that I was going to break through. And this is before I became a born-again Christian. I was just a child. But I thought, I've got to stop this. And I mm -hmm. was able to break that. And so sometimes you can 
um, just through sheer willpower is determined. It's very important to have a strong mm -hmm. will. But um, sometimes you need supernatural intervention, and that's what is going to get released today for many people with speech impediments. And that's true. And see, the thing is that... Um, I don't even know that you know this about me, but when I was a child, they spoke over me, people of authority, teachers, principals, and things like that, said that I was retarded, dumb, stupid, and would never be able to learn. Wow. So I lived up to that for years, and nobody ever expected me to learn. And, you know, if I got a C, mom was thrilled. If I got a D, I was still passing. That was okay, uh, because she knew I couldn't learn. And it's not that my mother didn't believe in me. She accepted the authority. Sure. And the person of authority. Like a person of authority says, you've got cancer, you've got two years to live. People die in two years. All it is is a curse. Yeah. And being labeled dumb, stupid, ignorant, being labeled ADD, ADHD. Sure. And, you know, that you're, you stutter, you will always stutter. These are labels that people get. Right. And it's time we remove those Let's labels. Let's rip off the labels. Yes, rip off the labels that are not of God. Amen. And put smart, intelligent, anointed, called of God, preaching the gospel. Everywhere they go, people are going to yep. get healed and, and so forth and so on. And also, remove the label of, I don't know what else to call it, but religiosity mm -hmm. is saying that God doesn't want to heal everybody. Yeah, and he wants to and heal he does, everyone. And he wants to he heal created you. Us for Those wholeness. of you that are watching, he specifically wants to heal mm -hmm. you today. Not just next week if something else comes up, but today. Today is a day to stop delay. Today is a day for healing. Today is a day for that speech impediment to come to an end, for God to free your tongue. Because it has been bound too long. God has given you the words to speak. He's given you, and you feel it. You feel a burning within your spirit, but you can't because who would listen to you because of the way you talk? And in Jesus' name, I curse that spirit of trauma in Jesus' name, and I speak that that tongue be loosed and anointed, not just be loosed in the natural conversation, but be loosed in the spirit realm too, that it will be freed up to speak for your glory and with your anointing. And, and there's some of you out there, there's, there's more than one, it's multiples of you that are called to the prophetic and you're giving, you're, God's giving you such incredible prophetic words and yet you're going, I can't, 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 can't do it. I just can't do it for whatever reason. And the word is, yes, you can because mm -hmm. of the power of the Holy Spirit. Today, this day, your tongue has been loosed in Jesus' name. And it's not only of a speech impediment, but of the fear of, of, there are some of you that cannot speak and won't speak. Even though you can, you won't speak because of the fear. That fear is cursed and broken and cast off of you right now in Jesus' name. Whoa. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Glory That's to awesome. God. You know, Joan, I have a, a, a testimony from um, a young boy. He was um, just in kindergarten age, and his teachers told the parents that uh, he wasn't going to be able to learn because he was too hyper and he had ADHD and he should go get doctor's help and stuff and like that. And get drugs to keep him still. Exactly. And so the parents were traumatized right. and uh, felt really bad about it. And, but in prayer, um, they felt the Holy Spirit said, do not buy into that lie. And so they prayed into it and the Lord led them to a different school with a different teacher who believed in this little boy and um, the, his whole life turned around and he was like magnificent in his learning skills and everything, his communication skills. There was nothing wrong with him, but that whole family just about bought into the label because of what someone in authority said. And you know, this is a really big deal. God is a God of the greatest authority. Jesus said all authority in heaven and in earth has been given unto me. Go therefore and make disciples of the nations and teach them everything I've taught you. Now, Jesus taught us that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. The word teaches us that we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. In the name of Jesus Christ, we just rip off those labels right now. We have authority in Jesus' name to rip off those labels of ADHD and stuttering and, and, and learning disabilities and things that says that you can't. Now, even if you are a person who stammers and stutters, I want you to say this. I can. That's it. Say it. I can do all things 
through God who strengthens me, you know, and if you'll just say that over and over again until you just break through, sometimes it just takes that, that sheer willpower saying, I can, I'm going to line up with the word of God, I'm going to line up with his will, I'm going to deny the lies, and I can, and nothing's going to hold me back because my God has given me the green light to move forward. So say it, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You serve a great God. And I just feel, Joan, I feel miracle working power here right now. I, I tell you, and breakthrough. Uh, there is breakthrough. There is deliverance power. So let's just, um, let's just move into it. Let's just move into miracles right now because what are you getting in your spirit? Are well, you getting any I'm, sense I'm, of? There's a lot of other things. It's like a label of you've got cancer. Cancer. I mean, and right, that's a and, label. And it's a label and it's a curse spoken over you. And, and I deal with all this about getting, you know, getting free of all these curses. And, and just like you said, a person of authority comes in and they say, you've got, and you go, I know. And then you just, all of a sudden it's like, when I was diagnosed with cancer, I started planning my funeral. And I'm going, no, 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 no. And I'm sorry. I literally started Because you were buying into the label. Totally. Yeah. And accepting the authority. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm going, you know, my parents don't need me, ex-husband doesn't need me, and also I thought, my children need me. And so I chose life because my children needed me. Right. And I literally, on the examining table, looking at the sonogram with my left breast filled with cancer, hitting my face, literally hitting my face as hard as I could, saying, no, I'm going to live and not die, and I am going to declare the works of the Lord. This will not kill me. Yay. And I am going to declare the works of the Lord, <laughs> and I choose life because there's life and death in the power of the tongue. And it's like, hmm, life and death in the power of the tongue. And the scripture says, uh, choose life. God gives you the answer. He wants you to choose life. But you know what? He doesn't say, I'm going to choose life for you. I'm going to choose hell for you. No. He says, here's a provision for salvation. My son died on the cross. He took stripes on his back for your healing. The provision is there. And it's up to you <coughs> to choose life. To choose life. Not just, it, life is not just going to happen. It's like taking it off the banquet table. There it is. The provision's it's there. It's right there. Now take it and put it on your plate and eat and it. And eat it. <laughs> and let it become Amen. a part of you. And the reality of Jesus Christ's healing power living on the inside of you. And right now, in the name of Jesus, that label of cancer, mm -hmm. and in particular, the curse of cancer yes. that has been spoken over you is now cursed in itself. It is cut off in Jesus' name. Amen. The root of it is cut off in Jesus' name. You're going to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord that's coming forth out of my mouth, but that needs to come forth out of your mouth that I choose this day life. And I am going mm -hmm. to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. And Father, we just thank you right now that your healing power mm -hmm. is going through the, the airwaves. And, and I am specifically not going to call out a location of cancer. God, it's like I'm, I want to go with the body parts. And God says, no. He says, it's up. I'm, he, as I'm speaking forth healing in cancer, for cancer to go, it's up to you to say, I'm getting healed and my cancer of my is going away and it's up to you to grab hold of that as the word and the faith is going yeah. forth over the airwaves right now not to be limited mm. well they didn't call it out i don't i don't want you to even be limited to what we're calling out here whatever it is in the area of healing that you need whether it's your heart your mind your body your soul your finances it is yours the price is paid it is your inheritance not when you die but it is your inheritance because he died on the cross for you that you can walk in that inheritance today. And do not limit, do not limit your healing on what you have heard before today. Because God wants you healed. He wants you whole. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet, from your pocketbook to every single thing, your children, your, your grandchildren, your parents, everybody around you. He wants you healed and whole, relationships restored, your marriages restored. Do not limit this healing that's going forth today. Whatever it is, you speak it, you claim it. I receive that new body part. I receive this. I receive health and wholeness to this area of my body that needs to be healed. And you need to call that out. 
You know what it is. You call it out. Call it from the, the, the heavenlies, the supernatural, however you want to verbalize it. But call it forth like, I speak a new into my body in Jesus' name. And I receive that gift that has already been paid for. And you know, you go to the grocery store and you don't get what you're paid for. You're upset. Well, you know what? Jesus has paid the price and he wants you to receive what he has paid for in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Man, Hallelujah. Good Glory going, to God. Man. Well, I tell you, the enemy head got squashed yes, on that he did. one. Glory it's to God. Absolutely crushed. You know, God is a healing God. Jesus took stripes so that we would be healed. We were healed 2,000 years ago. The provision was there. Let's just eat of it and drink it. Jesus said, unless you, you eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, you have no part of me. Let's eat of his perfection. Let's eat and drink of his purity. And as you do, there's going to be healing miracles. You know, Joan, I know all the time God is moving through your ministry and there's reports all the time of that decree of faith that goes out and heals. So if you um, witness and, and testify to a healing in your body, what I want you to do is write testify at xpmedia.com. Or how can they get in touch with you? Uh, miracles at joanhunter.org. Miracles at, at joanhunter.org. Joanhunter and we'll share them. All right. Yes, we'll share those miracles. Okay. Glory to God. And we'll be right back. Joan Hunter equips you to walk in the fullness of God's healing power. Healing the whole man and power to heal contain powerful prayers for body, soul, and spirit. Walk in the divine health of heaven. Order these two amazing books for just $30, and you'll also receive Patricia King's Decree Book as a free gift. Call 866-980-5464 and order television offer number 114 or visit xpmedia.com. Order now. Become a Breaker Team partner today. Go online to xpmedia.com. Hey guys, I can't wait to attend the new Media Fest. It's a Christian film festival for people like you and me. Who want to create media for the kingdom of God. They're going to have workshops on everything. From internet media to directing, acting, and producing. Check it out. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just signed up for the new Media Fest this summer. There's going to be movies, networking, workshops, all the latest in cool technology. You guys will so want to come. Text me when you get there. We'll meet up. Well, welcome back. This is one exciting show because just the presence of the miraculous is here. And that means it's where you are too, because the spirit of faith is releasing the miracle power of Jesus Christ. Expect a miracle. If you need one, expect one. Joan, um, tell us some more about uh, the healing ministry of the Lord and some of the testimonies of what you've seen Jesus do. It's just awesome. I mean, of course, we could be here for the next three years just telling what God did over the last year. Uh, and it's just so exciting because it's every, every weekend, there's just hundreds of healings. You know, and every service is not based on how many people are there because like one lady last weekend had, had 10 diseases and every single one of them was instantly healed. <laughs> I love and, it. And I, I do very simple prayers and eyes open, not religious experience, you know, and, and just let's mm -hmm. get to the point, get them healed in Jesus' name. You know, I was just with Oral Roberts mm -hmm. and, um, and he said the same thing. He said, I... God's never led me to pray real long-winded prayers. That's I don't right. pray for a long time over anyone. I just lay hands on them and release the faith. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Right. Yeah. And I believe in the KISS method. You know, keep it simple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saints. Mm -hmm. You know, not the stupid part because we're not stupid. Right. But keep it simple. Yes, exactly. And the more simple we do it, and people say, well, I don't know how to pray for anybody. I don't know how to pray for anybody. Here's one. Keep it simple, sweetie. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, and like right here in the book, it just has diseases, what they are, steps one, two, three, four, five, however many it takes. Now, this is in the handbook, right? This is right? the handbook. The that you actually have a handbook, mm -hmm. and you pray, and it also has the root causes. 
So you can address the root causes because see, if you don't deal with the root causes, mm -hmm. so many people lose their healing. Right. I lost my healing. No, you just didn't get rid of the root. It came back up. Right. We mowed it down, but not right. the root. Right. Right. And so it's important because like people will, you know, get healed of, of arthritis, but then they go back in, they walk in unforgiveness and they do the stress and, and, and it comes back on them. Well, it's time we, we get rid of We found that even like sometimes people will be in the meetings where there's a lot of manifest glory mm -hmm. and all the symptoms go. And so all throughout a whole weekend, they can be totally without symptom but then when they go and lose sight of the Lord and who they are in him lose sight of that glory and just go back into the natural then it manifests again in right. the natural environment mm -hmm. and then like they may be healed of pain and the next morning they wake up with a little symptom of the pain and they, and they oh, go no. oh I've got it yeah. back so what they do is they invite Suck it, it back mm -hmm. and instead of going no I was healed last night mm -hmm. you lying devil get out you were yeah. trespassing and when, right. others, when people understand that when sickness comes in, there it's trespassing on God's property. Yeah, and you got to get brutal, don't you? Oh yeah. I know that I used to, um, you know, you know, if I felt a symptom coming on, I'd say something like, "Oh no, I'm catching a cold." Right. Well, how stupid is that? You right. Know, I'm it's catching like, a healing. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's like you have to resist and say, "Not on my watch. You're mm -hmm. not coming." Because yeah, I, I talk about in in this in my healing schools that what opens a door for sickness and we need to figure out what's opening a door for sickness and people will say i don't know how to pray it's in the book right you know it's just in the book and then in the other book power to heal which we talk about as being a uh, companion books it in here there's many places where it has you fill in the blank right you know so like you can forgiveness put your own situation right there. you put your own name or who you need to forgive mm -hmm. or how, this talks about how to fix your children how to fix your husband mm -hmm and how to do it God's way and and there's just lines where you mm -hmm. put your children's name in there right and you put your husband's name in there and not just saying you need to forgive okay you need to forgive you know that mm -hmm. how do I forgive sure okay it's right here it's so simple mm -hmm. you just fill the fill it in right where you are right and it's incredible the people that are getting set free because of the book the 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 roots that are in here this is basically just a book of root killers <laughs> I like that you know you Not, should write a book sometime called Root Killers. There you go. Testimony <laughs> That's of Root really Kill. Good. Glory to God. Well, give us a testimony. We don't have much time left, but give us a testimony of, of someone recently who had the root killed and all the symptoms went. She, a lady came up to me. She had arthritis from the top of her head, soles of her feet, eaten up with arthritis. I prayed. I cursed the arthritis in Jesus' name and the curse of pain. I said, how's that feel? She goes, it hurts really bad. And I'm like, okay. Uh -huh. So we, we took her off for a couple of minutes, ministered unforgiveness, and, uh -huh. and walked her through that process. And we never prayed for the arthritis or pain again because it instantly left when the root wow. was killed. Wow. Oh, I love that. Mm -hmm. I mean, arthritis is so painful. It and is. It's so it difficult be. to live with. And so to have that relief like that must have just, you know, caused mm -hmm. her to rejoice in the Lord like never before. Right. And then people can't raise their hands and worship uh -huh. the Lord. They can't get on their knees and pray and wow. intercede. But now they can. They can worship God and they can pray and get on their knees and it doesn't hurt. You know, and they can I, sleep. I love this. I feel such a spirit of faith in the room. And, you know, whatever you need right now, whatever your sickness or disease is, we can address the root and cut it off. It says, take the axe to the root. It says that in Matthew chapter 3. Take an axe to the root. And so in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, whatever that root is, no matter what it is, Lord, we take an axe yes. to it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. And I ask, Lord God, that every symptom is going to just fall to nothing. Every symptom, Lord, in the body is going to, is, is going to just leave. Now, what I want you to do is test out your body. Test it out. If you had a headache before, check it. Is the headache gone? So thank you, you know, Jesus. If you had an earache, is the earache God's gone? Start to praise him and acknowledge. And even if there's just a little bit of improvement, start to praise him for that little bit of improvement and then believe for a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. It's called the working of a miracle. And there is so much faith right now for the miraculous. And also, I just want to encourage you, get trained in healing. Joan, I want to thank you for your equipping that you do in the body, because that's your heart, mm -hmm. is to get the whole equipping body doing it. it. Equipping and activating. And I, I'm 
I'm sitting under your teaching because I want more equipping in the healing ministry because I want to be a better healing minister. And so for those of you that are hungry to learn more, you know, uh, Joan Hunter and there's other healing ministers that are really credible, who stand on the word, uh, people that God has raised up to teach and equip the body because God is recruiting you to be a healing minister too. So this is so exciting, Joan. What a day and what a day we're living in. I know it. It's so awesome. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you uh, next time. You know, God is, is a great God and he's a great God in your life, no matter what's going on around you right now, no matter what devastating things are affecting you or influencing your sphere of influence. Remember this, that God loves you with an everlasting love. He really, really, really does. So enjoy him. We'll see you again. Joan Hunter equips you to walk in the fullness of God's healing power. Healing the whole man and power to heal contain powerful prayers for body, soul, and spirit. Walk in the divine health of heaven. Order these two amazing books for just $30 and you'll also receive Patricia King's decree book as a free gift. Call 866-980-5464 and order television offer number 114 or visit xpmedia.com. Order now. Ah. Become a Breaker Team partner today. Go online to xpmedia.com. Amen. I just see the power of God going through the television waves, whether through television itself, whether through internet, that the power of God is going through the cameras right now into your very heart and your very being. And there's the carpal tunnel you, you, and, and just the, the releasing of the wrists right now. Just put your own hands on your own wrists. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I command this carpal tunnel to be gone and my hands to be freed up, not just freed up to worship you. And but Father, I thank you that the hands are going to be freed up to do the work that you've gifted them to do.